what's up guys? I'm back. It's your boy Worst Effing Gamer and check it out guys. That's right. That's your boy Salas there. I finally got him on my max account here. This is insane. I am so stoked, you know, that they had him for the double purchase hero of the week here. Oh, they answered my prayers here guys. So I went ahead and I purchased them. Not only that guys, we are about to begin his awakening today. One, we're going to check out his new skin that was also on sale today. So we got a lot to do with this guy. I went ahead already and I... Got him to orange plus two. As you can see, he's only three stars because that's all I can do for now. But all equipped it, orange plus two, maxed out enchanted, all right? Problem is abilities. I haven't had time to do abilities because it just came out today. So I've been kind of working on this, uh, you know, a little bit here, God strength. And then we also going to take a look at his other abilities here. So first of all, let's start off, I think, by starting his awakening, all right? So we're going to begin the awakening and this is going to take me some time, but it's okay. And in fact, it's not going to take me too long because they have a diamond spender event here, which if I spent 9,000 gems, which I've racked up a shit ton of gems from doing the purchases, that I'm going to be able to get a celestial potion, which means I can automatically start his awakening, all right? So we're going to actually, we're going to do this live tomorrow, guys. So check it out Saturday and Sunday. I will be live streaming. You know, I'm going to spend 9,000 gems tomorrow and we're going to check it out. And uh, see if I can get the Celestial Potion and start, continue on his awakening then, alright? But for now, we are more interested in the skin, guys. So let's go ahead. This is the special Crystal Warrior skin that we're about to equip on our boy Salas here. So who's ready for this? Drop a like if you're excited, guys. Help me out here and let's go ahead. Let's use this right now. Let's see the transformation! <laughs> what? Whoa! Whoa! What is that? Yo, that looks freaking sick and completely different. Wowzers, Bowsers. Dude, he looks nothing alike. It's a completely different hero. It's like having two heroes in one. That's exciting, guys. That's pretty sick. Wow. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, my God. That is such a sick card here. So, this guy is a chieftain. If you don't know how Oryx works, guys, they have a chieftain who's like the leader. And this guy's a freaking beast, dude. Wow, that's a metal suit. How can an orc have a metal, a futuristic orc, maybe, huh? And he slayed somebody down below and they're screaming for their health. Help me, help me. He said, fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and let's dig a little bit further into this, guys, because this looks sick. It kind of looks like a transformer, right? Like a Power Ranger transformer, Megatron. Oh, wow. Awesome. Awesome awesome. Okay, now let's break it down. Let's take a look at what this ability actually does to him. So when the Crystal Warrior skin is equipped, the Storm Hammer ability is replaced with Pulse Hammer, which is this ability. It will attack enemies with physical armor first. Enemies will be stunned. I don't know, baby. If you want to give me like a cheeseburger, it doesn't matter. Okay. Cheese and a hot dog too. Okay. Cheeseburger and a hot dog. Lettuce, tomato, mayo. Enemies will be stunned regardless of their physical armor. And their physical armor will be reduced 50%. What? Each time you level up the Storm Hammer ability, the maximum... Wait, the maximum eliminated physical armor is increased by 130. Yo, that looks freaking insane, guys. So here we go. This is the Storm Hammer right here. Uh, let's go one ability. Does it show anything? No, this just increases his base damage and the the level that this is gonna affect all right so this is gonna i'm gonna have to max this out you know today and tomorrow and then we will take a look at how this is actually gonna play a you know a role in this guy's abilities once it's all set all right and then once i'm done with his awakening as well this guy just seems to be phenomenal increase parties crit now we have been hearing a lot of things that his health is pretty low for being a frontline tank right Let's just take a look at his max health here. It's at 31,000 plus another 14,000 maxed at orange plus two. And this is only two, three stars. So with a lot, he might have to be six to seven stars to be viable in high level arena for my liking. But uh, not bad at three stars though. Not bad. But then again, now that I just compared him, guys, I have Vault also maxed out, but he is awakened with his awakened item enchanted. So it could be a little bit of a difference. But either way, uh, Volt's max HP is 35,000 plus 17, and he's only two stars. So now that you compare it 
two, Sal is there, it's a little bit, it's higher than Celeste, and Salas is, is lower, which means that's definitely pretty low of an HP, so you might have to pair him up with the right lineup for him to be effective, right? That's probably why he's dying in a lot of people's lineups, is because he needs certain kind of protections to be effective, but this guy is just a crazy DPS hero, guys. Seems like he's going to be doing a lot of damage. It's just a damage dealer. So let's go ahead and try him out. Alright guys, so I'm just going to run him in a couple of Crucible of Fire runs here. Very simple, very easy. I really just want to see him in action here. There he goes! Whoa! Boom! Double slash there. I mean, uh, that slash ability will hit the whole enemy lineup, as you guys already know. And uh, I'm just trying to keep an eye out for him here. So it looks like he's about to actually die. That's where the health comes in play. Very dangerous. Very big, all basic attacks here, and he didn't really do that much damage. But you can't really compare him now. Three stars to seven star heroes maxed out. Uh, I don't really compare him right now, but let's take a look at his um, ultimate here, guys. Ultimate up. Boom. Physical attack up. Haste, haste. Wait, that was like three time haste. Boom. There he goes. Come on. Keep going. Boom. You know what would be really sick for this guy is? Oh, he's dead. God damn it, Mortis, you cocksucker. Ow. That's all right. Don't really need to see any more of that. But you know what would really benefit him a lot, in my opinion, is a higher lifesteal, guys. If you can... Let's just go into the, the academy here because I want to see now if I can work on his academy a little bit. Because lifesteal is where it's at with this guy, all right? If you can get a lot of lifesteal for him, it, it'll be really good. Resisting silence... Um, increase kill bonus resistance. Ha! Huh. You know what? I just had a thought. I'm gonna actually work on this guy's tomorrow on the live stream with you guys, alright? I'm not gonna go ahead and do this now. I'm gonna wait, work on his abilities, and then come back to this tomorrow. So as of right now, we're going to leave it off at this, guys. Awakening has begun. That's going to take me a couple of days. Abilities are not maxed out. I got to max out his abilities. And then we will actually see how this guy actually performs in a real-life battle, all right? But for now, I will get going. I will catch you guys next time on another Soul Hunters video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Peace out.